What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. She's talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. Talking about the character of Kirby Reed. Talking about Hayden Panettiere more specifically because she just had like two interviews come out. One from People Magazine and another one from Good Morning America. The one from People Magazine, she was mostly going on about how excited she was to be back as Kirby. How she feels like this is the perfect role to of course make her return to the uh, acting business since she hasn't done anything in many years. But on Good Morning America, she had a few more interesting comments uh, when talking about like how she ended up getting into the movie she said that i called them up myself and was like so you guys don't happen to want to bring kirby back do you i wanted to be in it that badly she said it and then when asked about kirby making it past the opening kill and then like the long haul of kirby in the movie she said that i don't think i can tell you but i don't think anyone's going to be disappointed that's what she said during that good morning america interview now i want to address a few things there now her saying that she ended up calling about the Kirby return herself doesn't mean that she wasn't already being penciled in to be in the movie. We know going out of Scream 5 and what we learned from that Easter egg, they had bigger plans for her for Scream 5, but ultimately decided to just do that Easter egg because they didn't want to just shoehorn Kirby in. They didn't want to just have her come and go. They had like an idea they had in mind for her. So when it comes to that and with that in mind, I believe wholeheartedly that she was already being penciled into the script. I believe this character was always a part of the Scream 6 script. I don't believe it became a thing once they got the call from Hayden. Hayden also, the important thing I think there is that she says she wanted to be in it that badly. So you want something badly enough. I'm thinking all this simply was was her checking on it. I don't think that's really how she ultimately ended up being in the movie as much as it was she wanted to be in be in it that badly that she was checking on it i believe that they were already of course including kirby in the script and hayden just maybe since she hadn't heard from him in a while was calling to check on it she was going to get a call i believe she was going to get a call i believe she was always a part of the script because i'm seeing people say oh that means she's going to die because they didn't have plans for kirby to be a part of scream six and i'm not saying that's not the case either i just don't believe that is it i believe she was always going to be a part of scream six considering what was already intended at one point for screen five <laughs> so as far as like her addressing because i know there's those rumors and i did a video talking about it these rumored details about the opening and kirby being involved and her boyfriend being involved mirroring casey and steve and you know it wasn't this came from clips underscore comprehend that reddit user i've talked about and a lot of other rumors they've spread over on reddit I don't think Kirby is going to die in the opening. She still could because Hayden's comments here said that I don't think I can tell you that when she was asked about it, but I don't think anyone's going to be disappointed, which suggests to many people that Kirby Reed will make it out of the opening. That doesn't mean that Kirby Reed is going to make it out of the movie alive, but Kirby seems like she at least will make it out of the opening. That also does not mean that Kirby won't be in the opening. <laughs> Kirby could be in the opening and just not be the character that's dying. It could be someone else that's dying with her. Uh, so many different possibilities here. And also, I will add this. Just because she said that doesn't then mean that she's not going to die in the opening she could still die in the opening and again is just pulling the drew barrymore here <laughs> she could be just pulling a drew barrymore do i think she'll die in the opening no i think they have some plans for kirby before they kill her off if they decide to do that i don't think they're going to put her in the opening have you catch up with her for 10 minutes and then kill her if they do that then they just do that and i believe there might have been some other factors that go into why they ultimately decided to do that if that's what ends up happening i just don't think that's what we're going to get i think we're going to get to see kirby reed for a, a lengthy period of time and when i say lengthy i don't mean like she's going to have a lot of screen time i mean maybe what they'll do is cut it up to a point where it seems like she has a lot and ultimately what she really just had was the same amount of screen time that gail and sydney had in screen five they could do something like that something where she at least gets a scene with mindy for sure hopefully let's see that and you know if it comes to them playing up which character do you love more when it's in a what's in a life or death situation between kirby and mindy you know playing that up very well if they kill kirby like that i mean i'm not i'm not gonna be against it i would prefer kirby to live but again as long as i can see what your vision is and as long as you do the character justice then we're all good as far as like what her fate will be uh I hope she makes it out of the movie alive. I do. 
but if she ends up biting the dust then she just bites the dust but again it's all about how did you do it if she bites the dust in the opening ultimately what i'm going to judge it on okay well how was the opening did we at least learn anything about kirby before she bit the dust um and again if she dies in opening there might have been some other contributing factors as to why they ended up going that route i just believe that hayden had a lot of pull going into this movie i believe she might have had a lot of pull and they might have been throwing a lot of different scenarios at her as far as what she wants to do the most so kirby's comments hayden's comments <laughs> definitely got a lot of people excited she also opened up about some other things that she's been struggling with and how she is in a much more healthier place and she has this new photo shoot out that i saw everything looks great she looks amazing it's nice to see she's happy and healthy so hopefully scream six is the first step to a lot of other bigger more impactful roles as she gets down the line other than just coming back as kirby reed so when it stand or when it comes to just talking about that again kirby herself this isn't her trilogy this is the carpenter trilogy i think what a lot of people should do is just try to go in with the expectation that you are going to get kirby back but she obviously i feel like for a lot of people who know what they're doing she's not going to be the focus the focus of this movie should be the carpenters more specifically i think it should be tara carpenter all i need is a good amount of kirby and again that's just saying what i want what you ultimately give me is what i'm going to judge so if we don't get that good amount of kirby that's fine i'm still going to judge what you gave us but i'm the preference for me and i know many other fans is that we want as much kirby as we can get but i think it would be completely foolish to go in thinking that you're going to get kirby all throughout the movie she's going to be here just as much as the carpenters or just as much as ghostface themselves like i would dial that back honestly kirby's not going to be the focus of this movie kirby reed is not the main character the ship for that was present when we were going into the screen four trilogy and maybe going into what kevin's original plans would have been for five we could have gotten a kirby reed centric movie but i don't think you're going to get that there but obviously of course you have people who who are going to gaslight themselves into thinking they're going to get a kirby reed centric movie and then being disappointed and blaming everyone but themselves let me know what y'all think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i link some social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video